it depends on your motives because there might not be a best involved if you just want to use that person. One or two. Oh! But if you see someone who you just feel a very intuitive, strong connection to, then I would say just talk to them. Be yourself. And depending on how strongly you feel, say it, say it straight up. I feel very strongly towards you right now. I feel very strongly towards and you. And usually it can be effective. And I'll put the book down for uh, now. That's, I, I don't understand his logic, but okay. Uh, he's free-spirited. I suppose stoner. so. Stoner. What are you well, going to do? Well, that's, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Anyway. Dead silence. Merry, I got Merry nothing Christmas. On Merry Christmas. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Uh, we talked a little bit about the gifts that we got. You pranced around in, in pajama bottoms. Uh, I got the whole Psycho series, which I was pretty excited about. Uh, yeah, I got a nice, cheerful card. And uh, it was not so cheerful. Uh, it referenced uh, Jesus on the cross. Satan was in this card. Satan. I was telling Pork, it's very rare to get Satan in a, in a Christmas card, but uh, somebody was able to do it. And there's there's a little there's a little sentence in there that talked about how this life is all about pain and trials. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it was a very uplifting uh, card. Merry uh, Christmas. You missed out on a lot uh, on this if you didn't get to hear it. Oh, you didn't get to hear it. That's right. Um, but, yeah, wow, that was a lot. What else did you get for Christmas? Jeans. Jeans. I got some jeans. And? Some cut. I got some of those flexi uh, jeans. It's like very, it's like very uh, stretchy jeans. Yeah. I can lose and gain weight as much as I want. It's awesome. Freaking that's, love them. That's all. That's pretty much all I got, really. Mm. I didn't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I usually don't ask for anything on Christmas. I just can't think of. Anything. Well, and that was my problem this year. It's like I, I got nothing, and so I just went online and just looked at random crap, and was like, <laughs> here it is. Here's a list of things. Just work off the list, and I got some of those things. And like I said, I got. And then my mom kind of picked up on hints as I was talking about, because I was telling her how much I enjoyed watching the first Psycho, and bought it on DVD, and then I got Psychos two through four for Christmas, and. Uh, and I was talking about how much I wanted to see Fred Armisen when he comes to town, but couldn't afford it because it was, you know, the tickets came out during all the Christmas shopping times, and so I, I didn't have enough money. I was surprised with some with the tickets to go see him. So I, that was that was the best gift. Uh, and then yeah, I got some clothes and stuff. So my, my Christmas was pretty pretty decent, pretty exciting. Yeah, this Christmas just isn't as exciting as you. As you get older, it's not. And uh, I've had to work the last five, right? So well, you it's know, really not exciting. No, and that sucks. But yeah, we we try to keep it fun in our family. You know, try keep to it keep, sentimental. Keep it sentimental and as fun as possible. You know, not not as many family members come in like they used to, which sucks. You know, because that was my favorite part is when everybody came in, and you know we had, we did things together. That doesn't really happen anymore. But it's still I still have my you know Christmas with my parents, and we still hold. Our regular tradition, so that's that's enough for me, you know. I'm I'm down with that, but but yeah, it's, it's, Christmas is just not as much fun as it used to be. And what's weird is that as you get older, the faster it comes every every year. Yeah, it came pretty quickly this year. That's what she said, and uh, oh. it's <laughs> that was in the book too. I bet if you, sure we, we could probably find that quote somewhere in Christmas the book. Christmas tree salesman. <laughs> what's, your, what's your advice on sex? Uh, Christmas came early this year. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Let me decorate your tree, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> I, feel like that's, I feel like that's not how this word is pronounced. Ilegua. Ilegua. I thought it was like Ilegua. Ilegua or Ligua or Ilegua. 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 That that might be how he print Doctor John pronounces it, but possibly uh, I I doubt that's how it's supposed to be. I also feel like that's kind of offensive. But yeah, I don't even want to say that on the air. And that, <laughs> wow! So they're just all about it. They just went head first. Yeah, you're, just, <laughs> you're deleting. But we them, can't like, play White Snake. No, no White Snake or Nickelback because there'd be a freaking riot out of Creed. We can't play them because there'd be a riot outside this building. I'll have you know, Scott Stapp. Conquered his addiction to crack, I guess. He I did. Know. He did? I think. I don't know, really. I, I never, I never <laughs> followed wait, wait, up on you, it. That's fake news. I never followed up on it. I think he did. I thought he did after he got had the run-in with the police a few years ago. Good on you, Scott Stapp. I think. I don't know. I'm just talking out my bunghole, but I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say, too. I apologize. Yeah, that's weird. Oh well. Well, it's the last show of the year. That's the thing. Is we're, Who cares we're just anymore? we're just letting it out. This is the last show of 2018. We're just saying whatever. Let's get it out because 2018 is going away. 2019. Say the f word, Todd. I'm not going that far. 
But I said oh. in, I said in our promo er, earlier today that we're we're leaving this icky year to start a new icky year. <laughs> yeah. 2019, I'm sure, is going to be just as painful and as crappy yep. as 2018. 